Get Puzzle YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here with today's second upload. Of course, if you missed today's first upload, a link to that will be down in the description for you guys to go check out before or after this video. Now, of course, if you guys do enjoy the battle, make sure to hammer that like button down below. And we have an Ubers battle, which is going to be the fourth game of the best of seven mini series that I have going on with my boy Harris. It's awesome. Now, if you may have missed game number three, a link to that will also be down in the description or any of the previous matches, then you guys can kind of just uh, get catched up on them so we are currently up three to zero in this best of seven series which means I literally just have to win this match and the series is over or Harris could win giving him still a chance to win this best of seven series and make a potential upsetting comeback so let me know guys if you think Harris could potentially make a comeback. I'm actually really interested to know what your guys' thoughts are going to be. Let me know what you may think the possible final score is going to be or like what the outcome is going to be. You think we're going to win, lose, or is Harris going to make an upsetting comeback and am I going to really blow a 3-0 lead? So, at this point, you've been able to look at the teams and tell that Harris' team is very, very offensively based. Mine is kind of more bulky offensive a uh, little bit outdated, but still a pretty cool team passing me by my boy in Nerf Fury. So, let's go ahead and get this battle started. Now, going into this match, because he had Deoxys, I was pretty sure he was going to lead off with that. So, I decide to lead off with the ultimate nickname for a Arceus Water, which is Thirst God, as he does end up leading off with Deoxys. You cannot tell me that is not a great nickname for Arceus Water. If you do tell me it's not, I will be upset with you. So... I was a little bit iffy on whether or not I should have gone for the Judgment turn 1 or if I should have stayed in here and gone for the Recover. Luckily though, I do end up going for the Recover as I'm going to be able to recover just about all of my HP back after taking that Psycho boost. And because he doesn't have Life Orb, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a Focus Sash variant which could be a little bit annoying so have to watch out for that later as I end up going for the Toxic this turn because I was very positive that he wouldn't stay in and that he would either want to switch into his Groudon or into his Javeltal here. Him bringing in Javeltal is the more aggressive play by him bringing in Groudon. That also would have been a lot better for me actually because it would have been able to allow me to put Groudon on a timer and deal with it a little bit easier. Either way though, Toxicing this Javeltal is really good as he is then going to go for the Dark Pulse. I make a really, really bad play here and I go for the Judgment. In all honesty, I should have gone for the Recover. Like my first initial thought was I should recover to see what this Javeltal wants to do to me. But if I did go for the recovery and at that point, it would have come down to, does he flinch me with the Dark Pulse or does he predict my switch into Xerneas? Which he does predict my switch into Xerneas here, making a very good double switch into this giant S threat of Lucario. I don't know why Lucario is always an issue for me in Ubers. Is it just me? Because somebody told me that Lucario isn't that good in Ubers, but anytime I face this thing, it's such a problem. Like I literally have no switch-ins to this monster and I don't want to risk bringing in my Bronzong because then I just get nuked by a close combat. So he does end up going for the Dragon Tail because I am a very physically defensive Xerneas. I'm able to live and in return get off this Moonblast which I was kind of hoping would be able to knock him out but in the back of my mind I kind of knew it wouldn't. Either way though we still get off a huge amount of damage as he is then going to knock me out with the close combat which does really suck because Xerneas was my main way of stopping that Yveltal but the fact that I was able to Toxic it is pretty nice so that is going to come to help us out later in the battle as in comes the Lunala. I'm not too sure if he's going to want to switch out here either way though I'm going to end up going for the Moon Guys Beam and this was very very risky because depending on his Arceus set he could have easily either switched it in or brought it in the following turn to potentially SD or Calm Mind and then sweep me. So, Moon Guys Beaming here was very, very risky, not to mention that he also gets a free switch back into this Yveltal, which is absolutely terrifying, which could very well have the Sucker Punch. Plus, because I am locked into Moon Guys Beam, there's no way I knock out Yveltal at the amount of HP that he is at. So, I'm going to be forced to switch out into my own Yveltal as he ends up going for the Dark Pulse. We are going to be able to take this pretty well, which is really good for me because... I'm in a pretty good spot of where I can either go for the Oblivion Wing or maybe go for the U-Turn predicting him to want to switch out. And I end up going for the Oblivion Wing on the off chance that he wanted to reveal his Arceus type. 
uh, to potentially be able to deal with this Javeltal, but he does end up making an aggressive switch directly into his Deoxys, which does turn out to have the Focus Sash as I get a useless crit. I was definitely going to knock him down into his uh, Focus Sash range, so that crit honestly does not matter at all. As I then end up going for the Sucker Punch this turn, but it should have clicked in my mind that this was most likely his Stealth Rocker because he had Focus Sash. Then again, I have seen four attacks Focus Sash Deoxys before, so Sucker Punching I still think was the safer play as I then go for the Sucker Punch again, risking him potentially having the Extreme Speed, which luckily I'm guessing he doesn't have it because he didn't go for it as he then brings in his Xerneas here. Even though I do have Bronzong, I should have stayed in here and gone for the Oblivion Wing. Like that was 100% the better play that I could have made because it literally doesn't matter if that Xerneas goes for the Geomancy because Bronzong deals with it 1v1 so Oblivion winging here was 100% the play that I should have made but for some reason I decided to play it safe and just switch right into Bronzong when honestly at this point I probably didn't even need Yveltal like, even if he knocked me out with Moonblast, I don't really think it would have changed that much. But if he had still switched out, me staying in with your Veltal walls by far my better play. Because now, this turns out to be Rock Polish Mega Groudon. Oh, Primal Groudon, sorry. And... I could lose. I literally get swept by this depending on its coverage moves. As I just go for the Stealth Rocks there, he does turn out to have the fire punch unfortunately as I just die and yeah that's that's basically game there there's nothing I can do against this ground if I had stayed in with Yveltal to go for the oblivion wing on the switch in then at that point I could have just clicked oblivion wing again and then either knocked out this Groudon or potentially knocked out uh, whatever he wanted to switch in against my Yveltal or he probably would have revealed his Arceus type. So, Harris on game four, do or die, makes a very emphatic comeback and is going to win this battle 4-0. I find it a little bit funny actually because game one I won 1-0, game two I won 2-0 and then game three, I won 3-0. And then in game four, Harris wins 4-0. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe next game one of us is going to win 5-0. Hopefully it's me. I don't know. But at this point, Harris is back on the board. We are still up by two victories. It's literally just do or die for the next uh, possible, possible uh, two games to get to that seventh game where we're both 4-4. Four and four And just that's pretty exciting to think about. So, yeah, Harris has breathed life back into his chances of potentially winning this battle. So, good game to my boy Harris. I have been on a losing streak this weekend, which I think is a little bit funny because I recently started getting comments about people, say, people saying that, oh, you just post wins. Like, oh, it's getting very obvious to know how your battles are going to turn out. And I think I, I lost Friday, lost Saturday and Sunday um, I don't know about Thursday I don't remember Thursday but yeah I think uh, I think I've uploaded like maybe three losses in a row but hopefully hopefully starting Monday we can be back on the winning streak and just yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the interesting battle I definitely could have played a lot better honestly like I didn't play to the best of my ability in this match like I said should have been aggressive with Yveltal either way though good game to my boy Harris definitely excited for game number five so Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think Harris's chances of potentially winning this are. And with that being said, guys, make sure to hammer that like button down below. I will see you all tomorrow. So check out today's earlier video and the two videos on the end screen if you've not seen them already. So thank you all for watching, guys. Later, everybody. Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from crying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain Tears are hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real